Welcome to this demonstration on running test jobs in ANSYS Remote Solve Manager. I'm going to begin by expanding the local queue which has the compute server localhost assigned to it. When a user submits a job to the local queue from an application such as Workbench, the Solve Manager will send the job to this compute server. To test the compute server configuration, I'm going to right-click on the server name and select Test Server. This runs a test job using the settings provided. The status of the job is reported in the job list view. Currently, if I look at the status column, I can see that the job is running. Other statuses that you may see when running jobs are input pending, which means that the job is being uploaded to RSM, queued, which means that the job has been placed in the solve manager queue and is ready to be run, cancelled, which means that the abort option has been used to terminate the job, and also finished and failed. By default, a desktop alert automatically appears when jobs are active. It displays the running, queued, and completed jobs for active solve managers. At any time, I can view a detailed log of what is happening with any job by simply clicking on the job in the list view. The log automatically scrolls to the bottom to keep the most recent messages in view. Right-clicking in this window displays a contact-sensitive menu that enables me to manage the job log data. For example, I can copy selected text to the clipboard, go to the beginning or the end of the job log, or display line numbering, a timestamp, or debug messages. If a job has finished or failed, I can select Save Job Report to write the job log data to an HTML file on my local system. I can choose to include line numbering, a timestamp, and debug messages if desired. The resulting report can be viewed and shared at any time. It is always recommended that you provide the job report when logging a support ticket so that errors can be easily identified. When a job is started on the compute server, RSM may create a unique temporary folder as necessary under a specified working directory to house all job-related input and output files. The location of the working directory is defined in the Compute Server Properties dialog box when the compute server is configured in RSM, and can also be found in the RSM job log. Job files can provide valuable debugging information if a job fails. In certain RSM configurations, job files may be deleted from the working directory after a job is run. To prevent this, I can choose to keep job files intact in the working directory. To do this, I'm going to right-click on the server name and select Properties. In the Properties dialog box, I'll click More to reveal more options, then disable the Delete Job Files in Working Directory checkbox. My test has completed successfully. This confirms that jobs can be run on the compute server. Note that I can run a test server job on a remote compute server in a similar way. This concludes the demonstration on running test jobs in RSM.